A St. Petersburg man says the state is trying to take a piece of property he has owned since 2008. It's a thousand square foot dock on the edge of Coffee Pot Bayou in St. Petersburg. Our Andrew Dowd explains why a decision made 170 years ago could be a determining factor in this case. It means a lot to us. For Rick Ware, this dock is his piece of paradise. We use it every weekend. And, uh, you know, we keep the boat here. And, and even when we're not boating, you can sat, sit out here and look at Bird Island in, in the evening and, and uh, have a beer, and it's fantastic. He bought the lot in 2008, eventually adding a 500 square foot addition. He had permission to build from the city and county, but when the state found out, it claimed he built on state land and filed suit against Ware in July. I'm still paying taxes and I still have a deed. So as far as the property appraiser and the taxpayer are concerned, I own this. In a Pinellas County courtroom this morning, the city moved to get involved. Attorneys for St. Petersburg claim the suit against Ware could set a precedent for all lots in Coffee Pot Bayou. The city owns 12. The city's concerned a ruling in favor of the state would affect its lots and taxable property. A large portion of the argument can be traced back to when Florida first became a state. If boats could pass through a waterway in 1845, it was considered navigable and therefore state property. Ware was under the impression he built on private land, but the state says even if the court sides with them, Ware can keep his dock. With respect to Mr. Ware, um, he, he's not going to lose his dock. Uh, nobody is going to lose their ability to uh, use their docks. But talk is cheap to Ware, and he says he will be fighting to keep his property as it is. In St. Petersburg, Andrew Dowd, ABC Action News.